So, of course, the other big story from the last few days is the death of John McCain, who ran for president uh, with Sarah Palin in 2008, ran for president against Bush back in 2000. Uh, ran Well, he ran in the, pri- in the Republican primary against Bush. He was Bush's primary challenger. Didn't make it that time. Made it to the head of the party last time that he ran, but uh, couldn't, of course, beat Obama. Um, m- mostly because he appended himself to um, the total doofus neophyte in Sarah Palin. But, I mean, she did excite the base, but the problem is she didn't excite anyone outside of the base at all. In fact, she excited them in the wrong direction. Um, But this is a series of reactions from within the political insiders to uh, the death of John McCain. And, of course, a lot of these are totally bogus, like President Donald Trump. My deepest sympathies and respect go out to the family of Senator John McCain, our, our hearts and prayers are with you. Now, you notice that he gave his sympathy and respects to the family, but didn't actually say anything nice about John McCain there. That's because everyone knows Trump is dancing on John McCain's fucking grave, dude. He's doing a jig, you know. John McCain uh, and Donald Trump famously despised each other. Uh, I'm sure Trump doesn't feel any better about John McCain just because he fucking died. Um Solution is to divide America into several smaller sections. 300 million people is too big of a tribe for anyone to agree on anything. Maybe you're right. Maybe we need to be like six countries or something uh, loosely affiliated with one another. Uh, First Lady Melania Trump said, Our thoughts, prayers, and deepest sympathy to the McCain family. You know, a bunch of empty platitudes. Oh, thoughts and prayers. Uh, Mike Pence uh, said, Karen and I send our deepest condolences, blah, 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 blah. Jeff Sessions wrote a bunch of paragraphs about how great John McCain was and how he was tireless in his service and courage and determination and relentless drive. And he was, Obama was sucking the McCain corpse dick and Joseph Lieberman was sucking the dick and Joe Biden was sucking the dick and George W. Bush and Hillary and Bill and Jimmy Carter and Sarah Palin and Mitch McConnell and uh, Chuck Schumer and Lindsey Graham and Paul Ryan and Nancy Pelosi and James Mattis and Nikki Haley and Mike Pompeo and all of these fucking political insiders, all the big power broker politicians in America lining up at the casket of John McCain to suck his wrinkly old dead dick. That's what's going on there. So this is uh, some other sort of takes on John McCain from quite a few rungs down the uh, political uh, ladder. Mass shootings are good for thinning out the population. Hail AIDS, reads, read siege. Okay. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. I think we can... I agree that overpopulation is a problem. I don't think that shooting people is necessarily the solution, especially since, you know... I mean, mass shootings are scary, but they really aren't making much of a dent in the population. I mean, the real solution to that is let's start sterilizing people. But whatever. We're not going to get into eugenics here. It's too controversial. Um, When John McCain ran for president in 2008, this is Mike Cernovich, by the way. uh, The media called him sick in the head, unfit for office and a white supremacist. Now they all pretend to care about him. It's fake and sick. Uh, it's a fake and sick game by sociopaths. They destroy a man when he opposes Democrats. Now they love him. Well, he never stopped opposing the Democrats. The, the, the cardinal sin that he committed in 2008 is he tried to be a Republican president. They're all right with Republican senators. They don't want a Republican president, even one as cozy with them as John McCain is, uh, because he's always been someone who uh, cozies up to the media to get good press and shit. Yeah, Carter is alive. Someone in our fucking chat is surprised Carter's still alive. I mean, did you you didn't you don't you would hear a story about Jimmy Carter dead, you know? It's you're not going to miss that. It's going to be a big thing. The entire establishment is in agreement that McCain was a hero. Meanwhile, almost every single conservative rightly abhors him for a multitude of reasons such as helping the FBI frame a DT as a Russian agent. Um, arming radical Islamists, asking the IRS to ruin conservatives, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, that sounds like a bunch of conspiracy crap. I don't even know what this what DT is, but um, uh, you know the rest of it. This one though is pretty goddamn spot on. 
This is a map from 2013 of the many countries where unrepentant warmonger John McCain had called for U.S. Uh, intervention. Here's the list. Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, Kosovo, Nigeria, Bosnia, North Korea, Iran, Russia, Sudan, Mali, and China. Those are all the places where John McCain called for military intervention. All the places he thought... And in some of these cases, I think in the case of Iraq, uh, which we ended up actually getting in a conflict with them, but I think in like uh, Libya and Syria as well, and also North Korea, he had plans to arm insurgents to overthrow the governments of those countries, and then the U.S. could replace them with you know governments that are loyal to us because that sort of stuff just continues to work so great for us throughout history. Like, remember when we fucking deposed the democratically elected leader of Iran and then we put in our own government and now we're best friends with Iran. Oh, wait, actually, we're not. They resented that our, our interference and uh, went back to um, radical Islam that they'd actually rejected as a culture before our interference. That's cool. Um, but yeah, John, John McCain was a warmonger, dude. He really was. Uh, I'm not even saying, look, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying a, a warmonger is an objectively wrong thing to be. Throughout history, there have been people who are very warlike in their mindset, but you know, the motherfucker liked him some war. And I don't think the American people feel the same way about war that they did in like, I don't know, 1950 or some shit. Uh, when all we had to remember by was World War II, where we were the glorious heroes of the world. Um, important visit with brave fighters in Syria who are risking their lives for freedom and need our help, blah, blah, blah. I have no sympathy to McCain, who was no hero, war criminal, yes. The guy was responsible for hundreds of American deaths in Vietnam, uh, giving up American positions while captured, traitor, liberal oh and i serve my country honorably don't at me if you have your thong on reverse see i don't i'm i don't think mccain gave up any american positions while he was uh, captured maybe he did but if he did he did so under fucking torture so whatever um let's see here a bunch of fucking people criticizing him um this is just that same map we already showed you uh, here's some other things that John McCain did. This is him on Ellen talking about why gay people uh, don't need the same rights as everybody else, which, uh, in fairness to him, uh, Hillary Clinton was saying the same rhetoric around this time. I don't know how extreme he goes. I haven't watched the clip yet. Let's take a look. Well, my thoughts are that I think that people should be able to enter into legal agreements, and I think that that is something that we should encourage particularly in the case of insurance and other areas. I'm um, not able, I mean, like, I'm not able to boost the volume. If I boosted the volume of the clip, I'd also boost my mic volume and I'd start clipping, so. You just have to squint your ears. Areas, um, decisions that have to be made. Uh, I just believe... Let's talk about uh, civil unions here. The status of marriage between man and woman, and I know that we have a respectful disagreement on that issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't seem that respect. She's like, mm hmm. She's kind of like, fuck you. <laughs> I love that fake, mm hmm, respectful disagreement. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Wait until this cultural zeitgeist changes just a smidgen, and we'll see how respectful my disagreement is with that position. Uh, it's I not my fault. The clip is just really low volume, dude. Some people are saying the same that blacks and, and women did not have the right to vote. I mean, women just got the right, right to vote in 1920. Blacks didn't have the right to vote till 1870. And it just feels like there's this old way of thinking that we are not all the same. We are all the same people. All of us. No, you're no different than I am. Our love is the same. I don't know about that, Ellen. <laughs> I don't know if Ellen and John McCain are like, we are one, you and I. Um, I mean, I get what she's saying. We're all human beings, blah, 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 blah. You know, I mean, it was ridiculous that there was ever a time when gay people were not allowed to get married. And so many conservatives went out there and said that, uh, you know, they don't it's going to be the end of society or the end of traditional values or whatever the fuck we did it. And society is chugged along. Now, granted, society sucks, but it sucked then, too. It's not like it got any worse. 
um, at least in any related way. McCain is just another conservative who was anti-torture and had some good points sometimes. I don't hate him nor love him. Respected as a veteran and somewhat principled. He's nothing special, honestly. That's uh, the take of uh, Ignar Husky progressive mad dog there and who also contributed $10, and I thank him kindly for that. Yeah! To me, what it feels like, just, just you know, mm-hmm. I will speak for uh, myself, it feels when someone says you can have a contract and you'll still have insurance mm-hmm. and you'll get all that, it mm-hmm. sounds to me like saying, well, you can sit there, you just can't sit there. Mm-hmm. That's what it sounds like to me. Mm-hmm. It feels like it doesn't <laughs> feel inclusive. Mm-hmm. It feels, mm-hmm. it, it, it mm-hmm. feels isolated. It feels like we are not, you know, we, we aren't owed the same things mm-hmm. and the same wording. So, mm-hmm. Well, I've, I've heard you... Uh, articulate that position in a very eloquent fashion. We just have a disagreement and uh, I, along with many, many others, wish you every happiness. All right. <laughs> I mean, like, whatever, dude. It's fine. Oh, sorry. It's f- it's fine if you got this disagreement. You know, I told you it was going to happen. You! Yes, it's me. Thank you. Um, I told you, I mean, like, it's like uh, this, this fucker here... He comes along, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, we just, you know, you spoke your position very eloquently there, but you and I just have a disagreement. Well, why don't you tell us what you disagreed with? You know, she said, you know, hey, it's 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 like you're, you're kind of giving me this whole like separate but equal thing, the same justification that was used during the segregation era. And he's like, well, I just disagree. What do you disagree with? What's the flaw there? You didn't point it out. If you got an argument, make the argument, but he didn't do it. Uh, so um, you want to know what I think of John McCain overall? I think that he was a warmonger. I think he was way too happy to use violence as the first course of action against anyone who stepped a s- small toe out of line. Um, you know, there was tons of instances of him doing shit like um, you, there's, a, there's that clip of him singing... Bomb, 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 Iran, you know, to a big crowd of people. He's trying to run for president. He's, he's singing whimsical songs about bombing Iran. Um, uh, he said to that same crowd, I believe, that, you know, if we have to stay in Iraq for 100 years, it's fine. It's fine to stay in Iraq for 100 years. For 100 years, we're going to stay in Iraq. And we need to depose dictatorships here and here and here. And we need to consider military interventions in all these different countries. So he was a total fucking warmonger. And, you know, he always constantly said, oh, I pray we never have to go to war. And I pray we can avoid war. And war is bad. But he was very aggressive. He took a lot of fucking tacks that really were something that would have led to war or at least led to increased hostility between countries. Uh, So I don't agree with him on that. I don't agree with him on gay marriage. He voted with Bush 90% of the time. Um, I don't know how often he voted with with Obama. Probably not very much. Um, So, I mean, like, in pretty much all regards, he's a typical fucking conservative that for some reason, because of his, his position on a few key issues and probably more to do with his just opposition to Donald Trump as a personality figure, for some reason... He's been embraced by liberals. He's been rejected by conservatives. I mean, the conservatives still, you know, pat him on the back and, yay, John McCain. But, you know, you can kind of tell where their heart really is. They're like, ah. I even saw people on the Donald subreddit blaming John McCain's condemnation of Trump on his cancer. They're saying, you know, John McCain, yeah, you know, he was he was fucked up from the brain cancer. That's why he was against Trump, because he wasn't thinking clearly. You know, when you get cancer, you turn more liberal, because it messes with your brain, and we all know liberals are all fucked up in their heads. So that's what happened, and that's why he was acting funny. Uh, so I don't know, man. Um, I'm, I th- I've seen people go to the real crazy extremes on this with a ton of people just acting like John McCain was this perfect angel. He was just this wonderful person. He was this great hero. He was just everything, every fucking breath he took, he took with valor. Uh, This intensely important fucking person who was just this, you know, golden child of, of the Senate. And then I've seen people basically say that he's just a warmongering piece of fucking subhuman trash with 
tons of oceans of blood on his hands and he's a bad motherfucking person and he's awful and he's wretched and he's a villain and we should spit on his grave and we should bury him in pig shit and we should throw him into the ocean like Osama bin Laden. Uh, I've seen it on both sides and I hate to be the fucking centrist yet again, but I got to say I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. I feel like I lean more towards the whole piece of shit thing, but I can see some valorous things in his life, and he stood by his principles sometimes. Um, when his entire party was going for torture, he said, nah, fuck torture. But it was, it was like, like so many Republicans, uh, they, they, they have one position on an issue unless they've experienced it themselves. Like, Dick, the, the whole Republican Party hated gay people, but Dick Cheney had a lesbian daughter, so he split with the party on gays. Um, you know, John, Mc, uh, John McCain... Um, he, he had been tortured as a prisoner of war. And so he was against torture cause he had actually experienced it. And it's just sad that it takes you actually experiencing something before you, you're actually able to empathize. You're not able to extend your empathy until you can find a direct parallel in your own life. Uh, and that's always been one of the major flaws of conservative pathology from my point of view. So honestly, I don't like the guy. I didn't like him when he was alive. I don't like him any better now that he's dead. But I don't hate his guts, and uh, I wish his family the best. Uh, not that they're watching my ass, but in in case any McCain is out there watching me, like, why is he being mean to you know my uncle or my dad or whatever? Sorry, sorry. I'm not saying anything against you. I do feel bad, but just as a political figure, what he stood for was not what I stood for, and I'm not going to pretend like I miss him dearly because I don't. You see here, uh, last time I was here promoting the Pessimist Productions Patreon, it was at, I think, thirty five fifty. Now it's at thirty six fifty nine. Growing all the time. When we get to $4,000, we are going to get a dedicated studio. So please consider supporting that. Blah, 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 blah. 